Welcome friends and a happy new year! Today marks the day that we are starting a brand new building series on my channel and as it's been some time since I visited the galaxy far far away, my next mock will be set in the Star Wars universe. And that's not all, because last month was the 10th anniversary of one of my favorite video games, the Old Republic MMO, so I figured I will base my build on this awesome game. So sit back and relax while I'll briefly talk about what exactly am I planning to build, what the story will be and what I already have prepared for this series premiere. One of the main storylines in the vanilla game was the arc focused around Darth Malgus who was one of the most powerful Sith Lords of that time period. He was the one responsible for the sacking of Coruscant which led to the destruction of the Jedi Temple and the occupation of the planet. But as all Sith do, he couldn't just stop there and he took advantage of the Emperor's absence and wanted to take the leadership of the Sith Empire for himself. And that is where we, the players, come in. In the flashpoint called the False Emperor, our goal was to take down the Usurper and depending on the side on which you are playing, either to be one step closer to defeating the Sith Empire or when playing as the Dark Side, clear the throne so that the real Emperor Vichyet could return. The battle with Malgus took place in his throne room located on his space station and that is exactly the place I want to build. I've always liked the look of this great hall with those huge Sith statues and a menacing throne in the middle, so I figure why not to build it. It won't be the easiest build by any means, but as you probably already know, I like a good challenge. But I won't do the whole area as seen in the game because it would take way too much time and money, so I decided to make only a half of the walkway without those side bridges, the staircase and the area that the throne is situated on. I might even do the back wall with this huge window behind the throne, but we'll see how the build goes further down the line. So guys, what do I have prepared for this episode? Well, I've started to do the front walkway and I'm very happy with the looks of it. It may not be the perfect representation of the one in the game, but bricks have their limits, so I had to make some simplifications. Mostly, it's the color palette that I've changed to only two colors, while the source material is using at least four of those. The other thing I had to do was to downscale the whole thing a bit, because the full size build would be just enormous. The pattern on the floor is made using a bunch of slopes and bricks placed sideways. This is a technique I've started using more and more since few mocks back and I really like how it looks. For now I have a half of the pattern made simply because I have ran out of slopes I need for the whole thing. But the second half is already nicely tiled up and ready for the parts to arrive. The order was already made so for the next episode I should have the walkway finished. On the sides I made these stairs leading to the edge and I left some space for the six pillars I'm going to place here. I made a prototype of one of those and I like the design I was able to make. There was a lot of trial and error to get to this point, but I managed to build a pylon that is similar to the source material without it being too big. I also added these smaller whatever they are and I think it's not a bad interpretation of what I was supposed to get given the scale I'm working with. As for the sides, I decided to go with black on the bottom as my own loose interpretation of the look from the game. So we have here a slanted wall that will be later on divided by the lower parts of the pylons and below I want to make some kind of railings. I first thought about using the support bricks to represent that detail but the size wasn't just right and I had to find another solution. Luckily I had few of those black 1x4 fence pieces and I figured I'll attach them to the base using droid arms so I won't make them too thick with additional plates. And the look is just what I've been looking for. Now I don't want the mock to be sitting on the table, so I made the whole thing hovering using transclear panels, so it looks as it was suspended in the air. It should give the build a very nice and original look, but it will probably make it a lot harder to build. The platform still needs a lot of work like covering it with black plates from the bottom and making some greebles in the front, 
but I am already liking the look of it even though it may not look as much. The next step will be making the staircase leading up to the platform and the plan is to light it up from the inside so that the look is as much similar to the game as possible. As for the platform itself, of course it will hold the throne and those massive seat statues, but also I want to do some kind of a mosaic recreating the hexagon shape pattern on the floor. I am not yet sure what technique I will use for that, but I have a few ideas and I just need to check out how will it compose with the rest of the build and how much new parts I need to order for it. As for the statues, this is the part I fear the most, because I've never made this kind of big figures and I don't know how to even start. If you have some ideas or seen some mocks I could use as inspiration, please write them down in the comment section, it will surely help a lot. Ok, now one more thing I got for you in this episode, that is the minifigures that I will be using here. At first, I wanted to make just a battle between the Jedi and Darth Malgus as it was in the game, but as I made the figures I decided to change the concept a bit and make both sides of the conflict with the Sith assisting Malgus to defend his throne. To make things even more interesting, on the 20th of December, when the game had its 10th anniversary, I started a little figbarf collab with my lagmates based on the game, in which every participant was supposed to make minifigures representing each class from the game. You can check out the results of this small collab on Instagram under the hashtag the Old Republic collab. And of course, if you want to join the fun, go ahead and make your own figures and post them to Instagram using this hashtag. But going back to my figs, let's check out what I've made. So starting with Empire, we have the Zabrak Sith Warrior that is based on my main character from the game created 10 years ago, wielding two lightsabers and geared in Malgus's armor. Of course for the mock I will have to change his armor because I will have to give that piece back to our main antagonist. Next in line is the Sith Inquisitor Assassin, armed with a double bladed lightsaber I made using this new two sided hilt with a rubber band wrapped around it. The bounty hunter I made is probably the simplest design of all, just using a regular Mandalorian helmet and a jetpack equipped with a blaster and a thermal detonator. And finally we have the Imperial Agent armed with a blaster rifle and dressed in a cloak made from a regular Lego cape wrapped around with a rubber band. Now switching sides we have a Twi'lek Jedi Knight with a single custom made lightsaber and dressed in armor with tattered robes matching her outfit color. We also have a Qatar Jedi Consular with a double bladed lightsaber, dressed in a white cloak made from a bridal train from one of the CMF series held by a rubber band. For the smuggler I took inspiration from the style of Nico Okar from one of the trailers of the game with a cover face, wielding two blasters and a cowboy hat, and for the coat I used the curtain from episode 8 Acto set which works really good here. And the last but definitely not least fig is the Republic soldier equipped with a heavy blaster, a backpack made from a macro binocular piece and with goggles as an arm pauldron, again held by a white rubber band. And that my friends are all the figures I want to use for this mock as well as the progress and my plans for this diorama. Overall, I am very excited of the future of this series, as much that I don't know how long it will take and how will the build progress. We all will have to just wait and see as I build, so no end date for the finale yet. The future episodes should be out every two weeks, as long as something won't come up and mess up my plans, so make sure you smack that bell button to be notified when a new video is posted. And of course if you enjoyed what you just saw, hit that like button, let me know how did you like this episode and tell me how do you feel about this whole mock idea. Now I have to get back to building because there is a lot of work ahead. I will see you all next time and in the meantime keep it breaking and may the force be with you.